Okay, we're going to save that. We're going to reload uh, the view category page. And we're going to say click here to create a topic. Okay. And we keep going back to the index page. Hold on one second while I find Okay, I found my problem. Right up here on our create topic.php page, where it says get CID. I forgot to add what was supposed to be checking. If So we need to make sure that get CID vera is not equal to nothing. So if save that again, refresh our index page, go into the form, create a topic, and there you go. We see at the top we have create topic.php, CID is equal to 2. And our button here, we'll go to create topic parse. We have not created that, so we'll do that. Create a new PHP file. And we're going to clear out all this code, also open and close our PHP blocks. And this is where the fun starts. First, we need to start our session. We're going to do a quick check. And what we're going to do is just we're going to type in what this is. If, is, if the session of UID is equal to nothing, we're going to send them back pretty much what we did here on create topic page. And we're going to send them back to the index page if the session does not exist. So uh, next thing is if is set the post variable of our topic submit, which is our submit button from our form. So if that has been clicked, we're going to run this code. Inside of our if statement, we're going to do another check to say if uh, post variable of topic underscore title is equal to nothing and two and percent signs the post variable of our topic underscore content is equal to nothing we're going to do this or else we will continue running our script and processing our database so if the topic title has not been posted or the topic content has not been posted, we're going to just echo out the statement, you did not fill in both fields, please return to the previous page. And then we'll just exit our script below that. So basically, if the title and content have been submitted, we're going to run this statement. We're going to need to include our database connection file. And declare our variables here. We're going to say our CID is equal to the post variable of CID, which was the hidden form or hidden input on our create underscore topic.php file. Our title is equal to the post variable of topic underscore title. Our content is equal to the post variable of our topic content. Our creator is equal to the session ID of the user ID variable. And now we're going to query our database. So we're going to say SQL equals insert into topics. We're going to say category underscore ID, topic underscore title, uh, topic underscore creator, topic underscore date, and topic reply date. And I'm going to give them values of single quote inside of those, double quotes inside of that, periods. We're going to say CID after the last single quote. We're going to do the same exact thing. 
single quotes and double quotes and inside the periods. We're going to say title. Well, let's just open this up and just do this out. Did that. Oops. Getting ahead of myself here. Title, and we're going to have the creator. And then after that, since we just need the date, we're just going to put now and now. We're going to query that out. Res equals MySQL query of our SQL string or die MySQL error. And then we're going to assign it a variable called new topic underscore ID. And we're going to say equal to the MySQL insert ID. So what this does right here is that after inserts into the topic, it's going to generate the automatic or the auto incremented ID number associated with this row. And it's going to put it into a variable that we're going to call new topic ID. And then we're going to query out the database again. SQL2 is equal to insert into post. So first we inserted the topic into the topic database. Now we need to insert the actual post into the database. We're going to say category ID underscore ID topic ID post underscore creator post underscore content and post underscore date. I made an error here. Right here it's supposed to be a comma. And after the date, we're going to give it some values. Single quotes, double quotes, periods. For the category D, we're going to put CID, comma, single quotes, double quotes, periods. Topic ID, we're going to use that new topic ID variable. And for the creator, we're going to put our creator variable. And content, same thing, content variable. And then for the post date, we're going to put now. We're going to query out that SQL, so res2 is equal to MySQL underscore query of SQL2 or die MySQL error. And we need to query out one more thing. We're just going to say SQL3 is equal to, we need to update which category was set last, or and our categories we're keeping track of who posted last and when the last post date was. So we're going to say update categories the categories set last underscore post underscore date equal to now and then we're going to comma last user posted equal to and then we're going to put uh, creator I'm going to say where ID is equal to single quote, double quote periods. I'm going to say category ID. And then I'm going to put limit of one. So that way only one category is getting updated. RAS3 equals to MySQL query of SQL3 or die. Well, I can hear me saying or die. I'm getting sick of typing it. And then we're just going to do one check at the bottom to make sure all of these have been performed. Or say if the result of the first one and the result of the second query and the result of the third query all happened, we're going to do this. If 
something has failed, we're going to tell the user that something has failed, so we're going to echo out there was a problem creating your topic. Please try again. And so if everything goes correctly, what we're going to do is we're going to send the user to the new topic that was just created. And we'll create this file in the next video tutorial in part 4. So we're going to say view underscore topic dot php and we're going to give it a variable of cid equal to our cid variable I'm going to say and our topic id equal to our new topic underscore id close that off comment that we're going to go ahead and save this file we're going to save it as create underscore topic underscore parse dot php save that we're going to go back here to our create topic dot php page we're going to refresh it I'm going to say uh, title of test topic our content will be that I'm going to say test content I'm going to go ahead and try and create this topic it says, oops, this link has appeared to be broken, but as you can see, it's going to view topic.phpcid is equal to 2, and or topic ID is equal to 1. So this page does not exist yet, so if we go over here to my uh, local database here, go to our forum series, go into our posts, we can see that an ID of 1 has happened, category ID of 2, Topic ID of 1, which is a reference to this, CID equal to 2, topic ID of 1. Post creator is 1, which is me. Test content was the content, and post date was right now. And if we go to the topics, we can see category ID 2. My title is test topic, creator was 1, which is me. The last year that is posted is null because it has not worked. The topic date now, reply date now, views now. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention if you, you do this without doing this that you will get a failed error when you say create topic what I found was under the topic category in the structure the last user I accidentally when I created the database in part 2 I accidentally forgot to check this to say null so you want to go to your actions hit change and then where it has null, yours is probably unchecked, you want to check that because that field we are not updating quite yet because we're going to do that in the reply section so make sure you do that, sorry I didn't mention earlier, I just sort of remembered it right now should have took a note but and if we go to our categories field you can now see that the last post date for category 2 has actually been changed from the 18th when I created this topic to the 21st. So that is it for part three. So let's just recap what we have. I'm going to log out. We can just go into a random forum. And this one has no topics in it, but it's let me check this random one. Nothing is being displayed. Let me hold on just one second and let me figure out what's wrong. I found what the problem was in our view category page. We forgot to echo out the topics variable. So save that. I'm going to refresh and we should get our topic of test topic posted when blah blah blah. That's where we're at. Uh, see in part four. And this video will probably be split up into three sections so it'll be part 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 due to time constraints in YouTube. It's 15 minute limit. I went a little past. As you can see, it's already 40 minutes. So uh, see you then. Check out my website, timkiptutorials.com. Please rate, comment, and subscribe below. Um, my website, yeah, blah, all the videos and code will be posted on this website, timkiptutorials.com. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. See you next time.